Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. Happy Valentine's Day. Look at the makeshift, makeshift thing that my plumber did. I don't know where we got him, but he is low key. It's low, it honestly low key looks disgusting. Um, this is atrocious. He said he's coming back later tonight and he's coming back tomorrow to put in the mud, to plaster everything back up again. He made a complete disaster of our carpet. The, I don't know why he didn't take off his shoes. Our carpet is stained. You can't even remove the white. Like, I don't even know where to even begin with this guy, but never again. Hey guys, so I'm finished trying to put on my makeup. It's actually been like probably an hour now. Um, I'm gonna finish up the part a little bit. Oh, it's giving. Do you not see this? Yeah. Oh! I'm feeling myself on this Valentine's Day. So right now I'm kind of getting a bit hungry. So I'll probably make, start making myself some dinner and start making the cookies and have that in place. And then while my dinner and stuff is cooking, then we can do the wall. I think that's a really good plan. So for dinner, we are having stuffed chicken breast with mozzarella and kale. On the side, mashed potatoes, and then some type of greens. I have peas and carrots in the free, in the freezer, so I'll probably have that. Uh, the wall guy is supposed to come today and fix the wall. So I don't know when that's gonna go. I'm gonna put something up here. So you guys will see, it will look really nice. I don't know when I'm gonna do that, but right now I'm gonna do a quick photo shoot. Hey y'all, I'm back. My cookies didn't come out pretty, super pretty, but the, I think I put it in the oven for too long. The lighting in my room is so bad, but anyways, it's pretty good. It's not too, it's kind of perfect. The only thing is it's made out of white flour. I wanted to use almond, coconut flour, all of that, but I really wanted cookies, so I didn't want to mess up the recipe this time. So but my dinner was good. The thing with cooking chicken or baking chicken, you never know how, how long that's gonna take. Anyways, y'all, I'm gonna eat this. I have to talk to my sister. We're doing prep for her interview. She has an interview coming up tomorrow. So I'm gonna do some interview prep with her later this evening. <laughs> Welcome to another day. I know I didn't vlog much yesterday. Right now I'm going to a meeting with my boss. He wanted to meet with me at a cafe in town. I'm like, okay. I feel like I know what's gonna be, oh my God, I still have makeup on my hand. Sorry about my life. I still like I know what we're gonna be talking about. I just, oh, that was a speed bump. I guess maybe we're gonna be talking about that. I don't know, but usually we have, I, I, I sat with him a couple of times and we just chit chatted about work about trends and things like that i'll come i'll let you guys come for the ride a little bit you guys where we're eating in town and it just snowed so i had to snow in my car i'm actually running late um about i'm gonna be around 10 minutes late uh and my work is the type of place where i literally have to go behind the building and i and i always miss where the entrance is to go behind the building so there's it's gonna be that that's gonna be a hassle and yeah, today's the first day of me doing like a full B soft glam. I haven't done a full B in a long time. And when I mean full B, I mean like the whole foundation, like thick foundation, healer, powder. And the powder that I use today is Chef Kiss, amazing. Yesterday was Super Bowl, so I spent it my, on, on, on my lonesome self. Um, I don't have the friends that I do have, um, close friends of mine, they live uh, in Toronto. So for me to go and spend Super Bowl with them, it will be an hour and a half drive just to spend with them for a couple of hours. And it's just doesn't make any sense. Even though Super Bowl does end for four hours. Oh my God. What is going on? I didn't want to do that. And for me, I don't watch football. I mean, it makes it very clear. I don't watch football. I am that girl. I am that person who would be eating and chatting the entire time through, through Super Bowl and get yelled at by the men who do watch the football game, okay? But no one disturb me when halftime comes around. I don't know you, okay? I don't know you. I don't know who you are. I don't know where you came from. Halftime, I'm in the zone. And halftime, oh my God, halftime baby girl, baby boys, it was amazing. We <laughs> <laughs> She's like, it's about time. <laughs> he 
I think I need to. I'm back from my meeting with my boss and uh, it was so good. You know, it's when you have a meeting with your boss, you never know what's ever end up going to happen. It's more like a lunch, just seeing how I am working from home and things like that. I've never had that dynamic with my boss before where I am having a just a pleasant, nice exchange and getting to know one another, you know, kind of developing a friendship. I've never had that with my bosses before. They've always declared a line, but at my work that I'm at now, they've been, oh, they've been so good to me. Honestly, I'm just backing out of my work actually right now. And we are gonna go home and go back to work. <sighs> I have to call a couple of clients. So we're gonna do that. And, Yes, that's what I'm doing. walk and I went I just needed it I haven't walked for about two weeks friends I went all around the block twice so good for my mental health for my physical endurance I've been doing a lot of strength training but not a lot of cardio which is not good because I just haven't been lazy to leave the house but we'll talk about that because definitely 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 have to think I have to sign up for a gym again I need to be working out a lot of my endorphins working out a lot of the stresses the stressors that I have and I think it would just be more therapeutic for me than me just going to go for a walk so I did Instacart for the first time Ever. And it was such a, such a nonsense. And part of the reason why I went around the block twice is because the person who's picking up my food in the grocery store ended up texting me every five minutes about this product and this product and this product and this product. The whole point, I thought, the whole point was to do Instacart. Don't contact me. Just leave the food there. Because I, I couldn't be bothered to go grocery shopping. I actually do not like grocery shopping. And I did the whole Instacart trial thing where I get free delivery for the next two weeks and I can try it out. So that's what I did. I just got little bits and things for the house. And especially right now, I'm in a food, I'm in a wave where cabbage and eggs are not gonna do it for me. I definitely do need, I'm gonna try I see eyeballs, I bowls, I bowls, you guys know what I'm talking about? They're really, really delicious and good. So I need stuff for that. And just like other like bits and things. So I'll tell you guys what I got from the Instacart. I don't know if I'll ever end up doing it again because I can't, I couldn't stand. I, I went to go do for, a, I went for a peaceful walk. Instead, this person is texting me five minutes about this product. Oh, this is not available. This is not available. That's not available. This is not available. I'm Shreddies. They're my favorite cereal. I actually really do like this. I like the, I usually get the regular kind, but I got the honey because I'm craving something sweet. It's going to be for my granola, for my IK Ibos, the honey crunch granola. I kind of make my own granola, but just couldn't be bothered. Broth, just regular chicken broth. The reduced kind is kind of, how would I say, gross. <laughs> coconut, shredded coconut for my SCI bowls. Um, golden, brilliant yellow brown sugar. And then I got ground beef, I'm pretty sure. Oh my God, this girl didn't get me ground beef. Probably because I wasn't responding. To okay, she did, she did. Oh my God. Have you guys ever got ground beef in these type of tubes instead of like the packs? I got ground beef in this and it's cheaper. So I just got, I just did that. And then I got yogurt. I usually get plain Greek yogurt with no sweetener, high in protein, high protein yogurt is all it's out. But I just got this and said, I think it's still high in protein. I think it's about 18 or 15 grams of yogurt. I got uh, roasted red peppers, which I'm gonna make some a chicken, a Tuscan chicken dinner right now and parmesan cheese which is really expensive and then honey mustard that's pretty much all i got 
I'll see you guys in a minute. I'm gonna, I have to clean the kitchen because y'all know I'm the only one cleaning in the Hey guys, I just finished making dinner. And I'm just watching Mira Musa, Adiola Patron, Nella. I love the whole gang. I was watching her one of, one, of, one of her videos. I honestly have to stop watching YouTube because it sucks the creativity out of me because I end up being inspired by other people, which I don't want to per se. I want to have my own creative ideas. Right now I'm just eating dinner and I have this like chicken, brown rice, Tuscan vibe going on and it's so good. Oh my God, I tasted it. The thing about cooking chicken, you have to make sure it's not pink on the inside. And this look, looks like this one's like perfectly cooked. So I'm really excited to really get into this. I tasted part of the chicken and it tasted really good. I love cooking my little meals for myself and it is so delicious. Yeah, I've kind of been, been defeated personally lately. Like my confidence have gone down. Cause I feel like I'm not, like I'm putting so much work into YouTube, so, so much work on all these things. And I feel like I'm not seeing any results. I'm, I'm a very result driven person. On social media, I'm a person who was never on social media ever up until a couple of years ago. Being on social media is honestly really hard. It's mentally draining. I don't consume Instagram, TikTok or anything like that. I do only consume YouTube. I have to start to think about what do I want to produce on my channel? Good morning guys. And I just did some yoga, which definitely set me up for today. I am running really late to actually go to work so we are going to work today um you know i've been working from home but i have to do some client files that i need to do um so that's what i'm going to be doing right now i'm going to open up a box from zara with you guys quickly because it's what i need what we need right now to go out i'll show you guys it's you guys would be surprised that you know zara zara does a lot of clothing stuff so it does a lot of you know they have shoes and um maybe hair accessories and of course clothes but do you guys know that zara has perfume so i'm excited the girlies on youtube have been raving about it and y'all know actually i don't think you guys really know i actually do love perfume i like wearing it day to day because it just sets my mood for the day and of course my bathroom is still in construction don't know when when it'll ever be created uh and of course my family don't really care about what i think about that so that's what it's looking like and we're gonna open it oh okay so it comes in all of these bottles so i bought four different sample perfumes first we're gonna try the holy grail first we're gonna try the one that everybody has been raving about ebony wood from zara so let's try that again i got the sample size because i want to test them and try them and i think you can also return a lot of these uh, perfumes if you don't like it and this one the ones that I got they're 11 dollars each and I bought four so around 50 bucks and I and include I think it was around five dollars so this is the ebony wood that's what it's looking like for the travel sample side which is perfect because I travel a few times a year oh it's a roll-on oh I don't like I don't like that it's a roll-on Ooh, but it comes off really never mind. it comes off that's a lot of it that comes off you can see i put it right there it smells very grown yeah it's giving me grown woman vibes grow grown woman boss vibes um that's all that it's giving me right now i love it it is woodsy but it's it's not too woodsy it's a hint of sweet in there too i should tell you guys the notes so um this um ebony wood so it's a collection created by joe malone y'all know i have a joe malone uh perfume now and which i love but i don't really see what the thing is but i really do like it it's giving grown women vibes it's a bit woodsy but i forgot the notes of it but I'll, maybe i'll put it up on the screen so that's the ebony wood and then the next thing i got I got the Red Temptation in Eau de Perfume. Okay, probably in a roll-on as well. I really wish it wasn't a roll-on, but that's what they're giving me and I don't like. So let's try that. 
So this is what the Red Temptation looks like. And we're just going to put that on. Mm, I, I like the ebony wood. And it's definitely, it's definitely, it's a great base to build on as well. And I can definitely see you can really build on that. Mm, it's, if you like a super cotton candy, not super cotton candy, but kind of like red apple type of scent, kind of sweet. You like it? It's also really beautiful as well. But ebony wood is definitely my favorite. Mm, not so much Red Temptation though. Never mind. I thought I got four of them, but I got only three. So the next one is Orchid. That's what the packaging is giving. And what we're doing here. Yeah, I really have to wake up early because I'm really late. <laughs> oh my God. So this is called Orchid. And that's what the bottle is giving you. It doesn't tell you about the notes of the perfume probably on the inside but i don't know why would they put such things on the inside but it's it's obviously you can tell it's more of a flowery scent it's probably gonna be more of a flowery scent so it's great that this is a spray bottle so i can spray this i hate that and this was oh this is like six seven dollars it's a, it's a super clean scent. If you like a clean, light scent, that's what this is gonna give you. I don't hate it. I don't know, I'm gonna try it out today. I'm gonna build it on top of the ebony wood. Yeah, on its own, I wouldn't like it. So I'm gonna try this with the ebony wood. I'm gonna put some here and yeah, I think that mixture would be good. Even the ebony one is like, it's it's okay. It's not amazing. I don't know why people are craving about this. It's they're not a really great scents. Um, and I don't really, really love it, but I actually might like, I actually might like the Red Temptation. Anyways, y'all, that's the perfume. 